All right, YouTube, welcome to another video. And today we're doing an update on my work EDC survival gear. Um, this is probably going to be about the final video that I'm going to do on this uh, kit. All right, uh, it's pretty much updated. I can't see me changing anything anymore. Okay, let's get started. The pouch itself is from Maxpedition. All right, on this side is a flashlight uh, holder that I uh, turned into a holder for my tourniquet. All right. And uh, the, there's a belt clip on the flashlight holder that I clip on to the side of this Maxpedition loop here on the side of the bag. All right. The Maxpedition pouch does have a belt loop here. And uh, I have to say that as big as this is, it rides pretty comfortably on my belt. And um, I have to say, this is about the weight of, um, like I said before on a previous video, that it's about the weight of a fully loaded handgun in a holster, basically. But uh, let's go over what's in the pouch. On the outside here, the Maxpedition uh, tag is also a loop. That I put a Olight Baton 3 Pro on. The pouch unclips and then there's a Velcro latch. Alright. On this side of the bag is a uh, Rescue Breather CPR mask and a Sharpie pen. Alright, let's go into the bag now. On top here, I have the. Oops. On top here, I have the Tozo Active Noise Canceling Earbuds. Very, very good earbuds. Um, I highly recommend this if you're looking for noise cancellation to protect your hearing in a loud environment. These are basically the way to go if you're looking for a budget pair. These cost $39 on sale and on Amazon. Regularly, I believe they are like $79 or so, but they're normally on sale for $39. Um, the way they work is they drown out or uh, muffle many, much of the environmental sound. Um, the music quality is good. Even when you're not listening to music, it uh, drowns out environmental mu uh, sound and protects your hearing pretty decently. I've worn this up to 12 hours. I did a 12 hour shift and uh, at around 11 and a half hours, the earbuds began to uh, basically say it's low on battery, but it's, it, the noise cancellation kept going until I took them off after the full 12 hours. So, and during the day, I also uh, watched some videos and listened to some music. I would say total of maybe about an hour and a half worth of uh, videos and music uh, I listened to on top of having it on noise active noise cancellation. So the battery life is pretty decent. Um, inside the inside the pouch, there is in the front area a little pocket and. This is where I thought about what Dang Old Nerd, one of my YouTube friends, was telling me. I had this, I had the Victorinox Swiss Champ in there because it has a lot more tools than this uh, Leatherman Signal. Uh, but like I said, um, it, at work at the workplace, we're assigning lockers, and some of the lockers are in pretty bad shape. So it takes a plier to straighten out some of the locks in order for the doors on the lockers to shut properly. And I was able to use the Victorinox Swiss Champs pliers to bend the steel a little bit to get the door to close. But it took a lot of effort because of these pliers were so small and the leverage wasn't really quite there. So it took a lot of effort to do it. And I, the whole time I was doing that, trying to bend the lock locker door straight 
um, I was thinking to myself that maybe the more robust pliers on the Leatherman would be better for that type of uh, situation. So I decided to put the Swiss Champ to retirement for my regular EDC off-duty or uh, not working environment uh, EDC. And I decided to go ahead and switch it up and put the Victor, I mean the Leatherman Signal in this kit. So that way I have access to something very sturdy. And also during the process of straightening out the locker door, I was also using the Victorinox um, Swiss Champ to kind of hammer out the little dents and stuff. And I also thought that the pummel here on the Leatherman would be better for that task. So all in all, I think the uh, Leatherman signal would be better for the work environment um all right moving on on the side pocket uh, side of the uh inside of the pouch hanging in the front pocket is a uh, deluxe writing pen deep inside of the uh, pouch is a altoise tin and Inside the Altoys tin, we have assortment of uh, over-the-counter medication, Pepto-Bismol, Advil, aspirins, uh, anti diarrheal medicine. Okay. Inside the uh, below that is uh, first aid first aid cream, uh, triple antibiotic cream, a um, burn gel packet more triple antibiotic cream assortment of bandages large and small and a uh, little bottle of crazy glue So that is like the personalized uh, little boo-boo kit medicine cabinet. Um, on, in the main compartment next to where the Altoid tin was, I have a plastic bag. And inside the bag is some latex gloves, small uh, zip ties, and more. Well, there's some alcohol uh, wipes and a couple of more um, antibiotic creams. And of course, uh, if you're going to carry around a tourniquet and CPR mask, uh, you're anticipating some serious wounds. Uh, here is a chest seal that can be used to for the main torso of the body. Whereas the tourniquet is for limbs, arms, and legs, uh, the chest seal is for the torso. So if anyone suffers an injury like a uh, uh, stab, a shot, gunshot wound, or even being impaled by an object, um, chest seal to seal up holes in your body, basically. All right, so that was the main compartment. Behind the main compartment, uh, this uh, hard, behind this hard divider, uh, in the very rear of the compartment is a uh, right in the rain uh, notepad. My uh, last and final addition to this kit. Uh, just ordered this from Amazon.com. Three in a pack for about. Uh, I got I think like was like eleven dollars three in a pack. The, for some reason, uh, the the brown or uh, green one uh, costs more. It's like fifteen dollars per three pack. But this gray one costs only ten dollars. So uh, this is basically for, of course, note taking as a security guard, unarmed security guard. 
Uh, I believe uh, having a notepad is essential part of your duties to take notes, jot down information. Um, I also have a smartphone, of course, the Galaxy Note 8. I mean, I'm sorry, the Galaxy Note S22, the latest one. I could also write notes into that digitally. Um, so basically, that's it. Um, I, 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 when I did an unboxing of this Maxpedition pouch, I was not impressed initially. But I have to say that uh, wearing this for the past week, uh, past this past week, I have to say that I am very happy that I got this. I am very satisfied with this pouch. Um, it's very comfortable to wear, as big as it is. Um, I have to say that everything you see here fits in here perfectly with no trouble. I did remove the, also uh, an advisement from um, Dang Old Nerd, I did remove the headband headlight uh, because I felt like um, this flashlight here is able to be put on the baseball cap uh, to be used as a headlight as well. So uh, I know that redundancy is important sometimes, but also... I didn't want to have a lot of things stored on top of all this stuff here because if I have to access this stuff quickly, I don't want to have to uh, have things fall out when I open it to access this other stuff. All I have to do is just remove the top item, which is my um, little case for the uh, uh, noise reduction uh, earbuds, put this in my pocket, and then access... All of these things that I may need in order to assist someone with severe injuries or even minor boo-boos. Okay, so that is my update for my EDC at work carry uh, items kit. Uh, of course, everybody knows I will also be carrying the Victorinox Trekker, but not in this pouch, but in my cargo pants pocket, which I found very useful that trekker is very useful and um i'm hoping that uh i did not make the wrong decision uh of replacing my swiss champ with the leatherman signal i hope that uh, this will work and serve its purpose well so yep um if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, please leave it in the comments below. Uh, and that is the update of my Maxpedition EDC work kit as an unarmed security guard. Now, as you can see, there are no weapons involved here other than the possibility of using the, um, the Victorinox Trekker or the Leatherman uh, Signal Blade. Uh, you, I guess you can consider these weapons, but more these are more tools than weapons. They are more of a use for uh, medical and um, other repair needs. So, um, you know, as an unarmed security guard, we're not allowed to carry weapons of like not even mace, not even tasers, and not even uh, batons or anything like that. And definitely not uh, firearms. Uh, we are basically there as just um, security guards uh, to ob watch, observe, and report incidents. And if we can, prevent um, violations and such. But anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment below. Thank you.